welcome to another video on web development series. Today we are going to build an interactive animated effect. And before we start, please click the like button if you want more videos like this. Subscribe and hit the like icon to get notified when I release a new video. So today we are going to build an animation like this which you can see on the background here. So for this we have to turn the image into particles and make these particles interact with the mouse. For this, First, we have to know how to work with images on HTML canvas and how you can get information about every pixel. Also, we are making a particle class which is used to create the particle as an object. And each particle will have its own draw, update, init, and animate functions to randomize the values and create the animation. Also, we'll see how you can use JavaScript to transform the output into X and Y coordinates and how to extract the correct color values for each particle. And then, instead of just simply pushing these particles with the mouse, we'll give these particles some elasticity, some friction, to make it more natural and more dynamic. Also, you can see that these particles move fast at the beginning and then slow down when they reach the radius of the circle, as we have to find it, around the mouse. So, this was a brief introduction, so now let's jump out of the code. Okay, so just open the HTML file and JavaScript file just save these and just type the basic format first and then in this HTML you will have to call the style tag for the CSS portion and just type whatever you want in your body and, or the canvas after that add the canvas with ID canvas1 and add the script tag also with source which is your javascript file now coming on to this okay so in the javascript file first you have to define a variable which will represent our canvas by the line document dot get element by id and then inside it canvas one because that was our id then you have to initialize a variable using which you can perform ma major functions inside the canvas and then set the canvas height and width after that you have to declare the x and y position of mouse and the radius of the circle around the mouse. Then there is a function of add event listener which is used to determine the pixel's location and the mouse position. Then you have to define a function draw image here. So you have to define a function draw image and inside it get image data method so as to gather information about individual pixels inside this class particle is initialized to create particles as an object and then draw function inside this is used to generate the pixels on the screen after that is update method which check the distance between each particle and the mouse and if it is less than 100 then the particles will animate accordingly Then, depending on the direction and distance, the force is applied and it's given a value. And inside this update function, we'll have to call the draw function also for each particle. After that, init function is used just to adjust the image size and its colors. And then it will push all these particles inside the canvas. And then animate function is used for telling that where the particles will move and with what density and you have to give image source but you can't give it in the form of dot png first you have to you have to write png to base converter go to the site now here what you have to do is simply just drag any image here in this png box and it will give you the base 64 format so you just have to copy that and you have to paste it here in the png dot source so this is the this is the link Okay, then you have to call the add event listener function to call the event and then 
of course call all the functions call the draw functions so at last you just have to call all the functions you have to do that so this is all uh, you can get the full code in the github link which i have provided so when you run this it's like this and you can see the animations so the converter has converted this whole image into pixels and we are just animating the pixels okay you can do some changes as well like if you want a white background then you can change this just save it and see what happens so this so it's looking better now you can change the color of your character also like you can change any of this two or one this is for the color so if you do like get this the save it and run it so the color changes you can do as many variations as you can so for different values there will be different color so this is how we are setting the color and if you are not writing here four let it be three and save this so you'll get a glitch type of this because three are here converged but one is there so you'll get a glitch type so you'll get a like this so this was all for today thank you hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't thank you